Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got ourselves a draft booster box of Commander Legends. Oh, no, not that one. This one. All right, the original. This box contains 24 packs with 20 cards each. The set was released November 20th, 2020, and pricing for this video is going to be as of July 31st, 2021. So let's go ahead and open this guy up and see if we can't find ourselves a Jeweled Lotus. That's really what we're looking for, although there are still 15 cards valued over $10. Uh, so there's still lots of value in this set. And that's 15 cards that we can see inside the draft booster pack, not including collector or any of the other fanciness, uh, just the draft pack. So we've got 24 of these, 20 cards each. Let's see how many rares and mythics we can get. All right, so we'll just kind of go through the first pack. Let me just slide that over there so we don't lose focus. All right, so we've got an Ivy Lane Denizen, Renegade Tactics, Strategic Planning, Spark Harvest, Ripscale Predator, Sentinel Spider, Foundry Inspector, Ghastly Demise, Angel of Dawn, The Bowmaster, Colors, Path of Ancestry, Workshop Assistant. All right. So now we're on to our uncommons. Promise this is the last time we're going to go through the commons. So we've got Lightning Crew, Pride of Perfect, Mask of Memory, and we're going to see a Hellkite Courser Mythic coming in. Uh, so this is going to be a Mythic which does hold a few dollar in value. And unfortunately, that's our only rare, I think. Yep, uh, we got Thornglade, and then we got a Foil um, Kinsbale Courier, and then a Monarch Token. All right, so none of the commons in this set are currently valued over a dollar. So we're gonna skip right past those. Um, there are a few uncommons, uh, so we'll keep an eye out for those. So I'm just gonna kinda do a little skim, pull it apart, let you see what's going on. And then when we get to our first, like this, right? So we got a volcanic dragon. There's one of our uncommons currently valued over a dollar, the Thought Vessel, uh, Nadler's Nightblade, currently also over a dollar. Then we get a Blade Glyph Prototype. Unfortunately, despite being a rare, not over a dollar. Uh, Pravda of Steel Legion, uh, Armix Filigree Thrasher, and then a Scrounging Bandar with a Treasure Token. So there's 22 Mythics in the set, and currently 17 of them are currently over a dollar. So that's pretty good. So as long as we're getting a mythic box and not a rare box, we'll do okay. So we've got a Star Siren Storm, Storm Tamer, Vow of Duty, Hunter's Insight. Our rare is going to be an Austere's Command, not high value. Uh, and then Malcolm. And then we get a second rare, Gore, uh, Muldrak, the Amphenologist. Oh, and we're going to go ahead and see a an etch foil. You are eligible to see those um, in these boxes. Typically, get one to three. Uh, so we got a Yurlock here. He is a rare, unfortunately, not high value. And then we get a salmon, or excuse me, a salamander warrior showing up as our token. So there are 77 rares in the set, but only 22 of those are currently valued over a dollar. So we'll keep an eye out, um, you know, basically what we want is Mythics. And what we want is the Mana Drain, the Jeweled Lotus. Those are the cards we're looking for. So we've got Merchant Raiders, Three Visits, there we go. So that's uh, an uncommon. Uh, currently it's the most valuable uncommon in the set. Ooh, and look at that, we got ourselves a Vampiric Tutor. Very nice to see that. Uh, this is almost $40 right now. So I'll put him to the side. And then we get a, a Nadir of Agent Dust, Dustnail uh, and a Thalys with a foil uh, anointer of valor with a copy token in the back. I'm going to take just a half a second here. Couldn't sleep up our demonic tutor. Very nice to see that. Good big hit. All right, straightening up my piles here. Preordain. 
All right, Blades Assassin. All right, Explosion of Riches. Daring Saboteur, Meteor Golem. And an Elvish Dreadlord showing on up. This is uh, one of the rares that's not valued over a dollar. Helena. Hans Erickson, another rare, not valued over a dollar. We've got ourselves a Null Caller and the Piper, along with a Rock Token. So typically in these boxes, I always get a play set of the Piper. Um, I've opened oh God, seven or eight of these boxes in my life. So I have a little bit of experience with the product. All right, Faith's Fetters, Cast Down, Grafted War Gear, and we got Sakashima's Protege showing on up here. Uh, unfortunately, it's not the one, not the Sak Shaka's Sakashima that we're looking for. We're looking for Thousand Faces. Um, so we'll just put that down. We got Togo, and we've got our playmat, Taya Bearclaw. No value. Uh, Prosperous Pirates, and a Rock Token. Well, that's not true. Taya is currently valued, I think, around eight eight cents. I looked uh, looked up just before the uh, the video opened, um, which, by the way, is twice what it was a year ago. Uh, so you know, another twenty years, we might have ourselves a dollar. All right, Moss Diamond, Command Tower, uh, Pen and Blade, Vow of Lightning, Impervious Perfect. We get Nevin Rolls Disc coming in here, not high value. Followed by Elena the Trapper, Slurg, and an Elvish Visionary, <clears throat> and a Dragon Token. So, <clears throat> aside from seeing all of the valuable uncommons and our Demonic Tutor, so far we're not seeing a ton out of this box, but we still have uh, two more piles to go through after we finish with this one. All right, Thirst of Knowledge, uh, Renovant, Brass Herald, an Immaculate Magistrate coming in from green, not high value. Uh, Kelneth, and there's Sakashima that we're looking for. Uh, so this one's currently valued just over $20. And then we have a Spontaneous Mutation and an Elf Warrior. So I'm going to take just a half a second and put that one in the soft sleeve so that way we can kind of... Keep an eye on our big hits here. And my camera likes to focus on the face back there, so I'll just slide those piles over. Right, what's going on with this pack? Can't get the cards out. There we go. Doesn't matter if you've opened one pack or a thousand packs. There's still always that one that will give you trouble. All right, we got ourselves a Fencing Ace, followed by a Null Caller, a Stinger Fling Spider, and we got ourselves a Court of Cunning. This uh, rare does hold a couple of dollars of value. And then we get Master Smith, Wandering, uh, excuse me, Ward Wing Familiar, and a Workshop Assistant with a Copy Token. Moving right along. Had a murder in there. Another command tower. So we got a meteoric mace, a guildless commons, a victimize, and we're going to see a mnemonic deluge coming in here uh, as a mythic. Unfortunately, this is one of the five mythics not currently valued over a dollar. Uh, oh, I apologize. Nope, that's uh, got a value of $3. All right, uh, then we move on to Emoti, Celebrant of Bounty, and uh, Intrepid Archaeologist, followed by Luminoid Gargoyle in Foil, and there's another Piper. So that's two Pipers so far. All right, Scholar... Recollection, Dragon, Lantern, The Prism, Supreme Will, uh, Orhav, Adkus, Patron of Valiant, Armored Sky Hunter, Master of Review, 
an Obeka Brute chron Chronologist, followed by a Galatian Power Stone Engineer. Looks awfully faded for a foil, at least uh, in person. Oh, and there's Piper number three and a treasure token. So I'm just going to move this stack over a little bit so I don't knock anything over. And we'll just keep on going. I think we're about halfway through the box right now. Gone through, I think, at least 12 packs. Um, got ourselves a Gale Strike, Gift of Paradise, Supernatural Stamina. There we go. Skilled Animator with a Kengi's Lieutenant, Lore Seeker Stone, and for our rare, we see a Magus of the Order. And uh, now, unfortunately, not high value. Some of my pack debris was blocking my price guide. Uh, Power Stone Engineer, and we get uh, Kark the Thumbless coming in here. Uh, unfortunately, also not high value. So double rare pack, neither a high value, Scholar of Stars, and a Golem. So Jeweled Lotus is obviously the, the, the card to look for. Uh, currently valued over $80. So if you get one of those, your box is pretty much guaranteed to be paid for. Um, so fingers crossed. Uh, fun fact, uh, Commander Legends, this particular set, was the first box I put on the channel, MTG Box Analysis. And in that box opening, we did see a Jeweled Lotus. All right, so we got a Necrotic Hex, followed by a Zara Renegade Recruiter, followed by Belby Corrupted Observer, and we couldn't do a four rare pack, so we got a Fire Diamond in the back with a treasure. I can't recall if I've ever seen a four rare slash mythic pack of this particular set, but we came close. We got three that time. Marble Diamonds. All right, Coastline Marauders. Horizon Scholar. Feast of Succession. We got an Ember Wild Captain, followed by a Tormod the Desecrator. And the Lagoon Mystic, the big turtle. And we get a Senor the Dark Baron coming in uh, as our rare, uh, in foil, or as a rare foil. So I think that's our first uh, rare or mythic foil. All right, Army of Iroas. Axe, Rupture Spire. All right, here we go. Make a stand. First Uncommon, Arcane Signet, Ordeal of Nyla, and we see Sak Sakashima's Will. So this is the third Sakashima in the set. Uh, we've already gotten the, the one good one and the two not-so-good ones as far as value is concerned. And we get a Wild Celebrant as our foil with a Spirit Token in the back. Uh, still looking out for the Mana Drain, still looking out for the Jeweled Lotus. Um, there's quite a few etched foils that I've got my eye out for. Uh, the etched foils are, uh, you can find a ton of them in the collector packs, uh, but in the draft boxes you're only going to get one to three per box in my experience. Burnished Heart, Humble Defector, Volcanic Torrent, and we get another court. This time it's the Court of Ambition, uh, just over a dollar. Uh, Brazen Plunderer. Captain Vargas, and a Finn clan, or clade, fugitives in foil with a soldier in the back. So far, reasonable box, right? I mean, we're looking at uh, about $60 in value from these two cards right here. So that's about half of the box price. I paid a little bit more than that. Um, so hopefully we can see some more. So we had an Interpret the Signs, Demonic Lore, Monstrous Onslaught, and we get a Coercive Recruiter coming in as our rare with the Moon Kraken as an uncommon, and then the last U uh, coming in here as another rare, and then a Victimize in Foil with a Copy Token. 
so I know there's going to be another Piper in one of these packs. It just always works out that way. <clears throat> just waiting for it so I can get it out of the way. Angel of Dawn, Pack Beast, all right. Mindless Automation, Scaled Behemoth, Confiscate, uh, Rikashata Debaser coming in here as our rare by Kangi Skywarden, uh, Faithless Shadow Cat Familiar, and then a Sky Whaler shot in foil, and an Elf Warrior in the back. I think we're down to six packs to go. We're 75% through the box. Corpse Churn, the Spider, Path of Ancestry, all right, Burning Anger, Vow of Flight, Kombacha Witches, A Wrong Turn as a rare, um, The Dead Tide, and uh, The Bountaneous Dawn, uh, Lathael, coming in as a second rare, then a Skilled Animator in foil with an Elf Warrior in the back. Come on, one more good card. That's what I want to see. One more valuable card. Plenty of good cards. Uh, but unfortunately, if there's 100,000 of them, uh, they're not going to be that valuable. All right, we got ourselves a Return to Dust. Dreamstone Hedron. Armor Craft Judge. Promise of Tomorrow as a rare. Uh, Wolvid Familiar. Sarah Archangel, and we get a second foil Elvish Dreadlord uh, coming in here as a second foil rare, and then the Monarch in the back. So we've now seen two foil rares. Um, I don't think we're going to see any more. There could be one more. Fingers crossed. All right, Flood of Recollection. All right, Vow of Torment is our first uncommon. Fathom Fleet Sword Jack, Nadler's Nightblade, again, just over a dollar. Then we get a Blasphemous Act, just over two dollars. Uh, the Flesh Sculptor, Ghost of Ramirez, and then a Furted, and there, there's the Piper. I told you we were going to get four of them. It's uh, all but guaranteed in this box. All right, three packs remaining. Can we pull off a miracle? Either a second foil etch that has some value or a mana drain jewel lotus. All right. There we go. Scholar of the Ages, first uncommon. Sunset Pyramid. Strength of the Pack. And we get a Nightshade Harvester coming in here. Uh, not high value. Ember Claw Familiar. And Bella uh, Borka Spectral Sergeant as our second rare. And then a Scab Goliath and an Elf Warrior. All right, two packs remaining. So at this point, I'll take a Jeskai's Will. I'll take an Apex Devastator. I'll even take a Scroll Rack or a Commander's Plate. Uh, just to recoup a little bit of value here. All right, first uncommon is going to be a first response. Angelic Armaments. Uh, Frenzied Saddle Brute. We get another mythic here. Soulfire Eruption. Unfortunately, not one of the high value mythics. Uh, we get Architect of Ascension. Sal uh, salvage Splicer and a Foil Eye Blight Colors with an Elf Warrior in the back. All right, so we're now down to our last Commander Legends pack. Can we pull off a miracle? Will the financial value forever be on my side? All right, Valakut Invoker, Preordain, Soul's Might, Crow of Dark Tidings, Rummaging Goblin, Deranged Assistant, 
Sylph Ascendant, Elvish Visionary, Sky Diamond, Fleshbag Marauder, Raise the Alarm, Iona's Judgment, Lumina Lumen Grid Gargoyle, Intangible Virtue, Codex Shredder, Slaughter the Strong, nope, a Chroma's Will. So decent hit here, about $8. Okay, we get a second one. We get Son of Roga and a Collar of wild Wirewood and followed by a Brazen Freebooter and a Zombie. So that'll do it. I'll get all the cards sorted, organized, and be right back with the MTG box analysis. Well, that didn't feel like a good box, but to be sure, let's jump into the MTG box analysis. The Commander Legends set has a mass of 715 cards. However, the draft booster box we just opened is only eligible to see cards numbered 1 through 361 and 512 to 614, which means you can only obtain about 65% of the entire set through the draft booster box product. Cards numbered 368 to 511 are exclusive to the pre-built Commander decks and account for about 20% of the set. The 102 Extended R cards numbered 615 to 716 are exclusive to the Collector Packs and account for the remaining 15% of the set. Now that we know what we're eligible to see, let's chart it and see how much we observed. This chart shows all the foils that we saw in orange, the non-foils in green, and the set in gray as our baseline. Based on the data, we can see that this box had a pretty even spread of the non-foils between the five primary colors of Magic, ranging between 66 and 71 cards each. In the foil space, we saw 23 total cards, plus one foil etched. For the collector out there, this draft booster box contained 286 unique non-foil cards from the 363 cards we were eligible to see. This gave us a coverage percentage of 79% of the non-foils. Seeing only one foil etched out of a possible 101 cards, this gave us just under 1% coverage. In the foil space, we saw 23 out of 363 cards, giving us about 6% coverage of the foils. Pivoting to coverage by rarity, in this draft booster box, we had an opportunity to see 142 commons, 120 uncommons, 77 rares, and 24 mythics in the non-foil and foil space. In the non-foil space, we saw 100% of the commons, 90% of the uncommons, 40% of the rares, and 21% of the mythics. In the foil space, we saw 17 commons, 4 uncommons, 2 rares, and no mythics. In the foil etch space, we were eligible to see the Prismatic Piper, along with 40 uncommons, 25 rares, and 35 mythics. This box only contained one foil etch card, which was the rare Yurlock of Scorch Thrash. Being a draft booster box, duplication is not only going to happen, but it should be expected. I mean, these packs are meant to be drafted and played. In this box, none of the foils were duplicated, but 171 of the 456 non-foils were repeats, giving this box a duplication percentage of 38%. Let's take a quick look at the potential value of the Commander Legends draft booster box. This chart shows all the cards in the set by dollar category. 16 of the cards are currently valued over $10, 21 cards are valued over $5, and 66 cards are valued over $1. But if you remove the 101 foiled etch cards from the equation, there's only 9 cards valued over $10, 8 over $5, and 25 over $1. The remaining 321 non foil etched are all under a buck. Here's a look at the value that we saw in this box in the non foil space. We only had three cards of any significant value. Towards the end of the video, we saw the Acroma's Will, valued at $7.52. In the middle of the video, we saw Sakashima of a Thousand Faces, valued at $21.14. And pretty darn close to the start of the video, we saw the Vampiric Tutor, valued at $40.36. We did pick up nine cards, valued between $1 and $5 but the remaining 445 non-foil cards were all under a dollar, including our one foil etched. Unfortunately, not a single one of the 23 foils were valued over a dollar. Our biggest hit was a 50 cent victimize. So how poorly did this box perform? Well, I purchased this box from Card Kingdom for $129.99, not including tax. 
Today we opened up 24 packs with 20 cards each, seeing a total of 480 cards. The 24 tokens added up to $3.98 in value. The 23 foils, on the other hand, only equated to $2.13 in value. And the remaining 457 non-foil cards added up to $114.13 in value. And of that, 12 of those cards were valued over a dollar and made up $91.08 of the total value. In total, the box had a value of $120.24, which means that it was a loss of $9.75 and only returned 93% of the box price in card value. To say the least, this was a disappointing box of Commander Legends. I've joked before that this product is jeweled lotus or bust, but it kind of is. Unless you can pull the Mana Drain and Vampiric Tutor in the same box, or that jeweled lotus, you're probably looking at a break-even or a losing box. Now, because this was so disappointing, I'm going to open the Commander Legends 2 draft box right now, and we'll show you what we did in that one on Wednesday. Fingers crossed. Be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more MTG box analysis. Until next time, do something amazing.